I was in my house. Um, my house is in Tobaja, Puerto Rico. It all started just like a simple rain and it, the lights went out and you thought maybe, well, okay, this is just part of it, um, but it started to intensify. There's this just particular hurricane sound that I learned from that experience that um, it was constant there and you could hear the winds. Sometimes you would hear even spontaneous sounds and bangs because it's things flying around. It was nerve wracking. I experienced a hurricane back in 1998. It was Georgia's back then. It was pretty, uh, pretty tough uh, hurricane, but nothing compared to this. Like we're talking Katrina levels, you know. Once you're hearing like stuff like, "Hey, it's gonna like make landfall for sure" and stuff like that, um, it just starts like all those things that you heard, like rations are not gonna last more than maybe like a week or two or something. Those things starts like rolling in your head, and you're like, "Damn!" And then after that. You start thinking about you know New Orleans and Katrina, and like yeah, this is this like this small island is just gonna disappear out of the of, out of the water. It's just it's just gonna it's gonna be there one minute, then the hurricane comes and just it's gone. We in Puerto Rico, I guess we didn't think how strong this could have been. We underestimated Maria. It was a little nerve wracking of like how is it gonna end. I felt a little anxious for it to end, you know, because of the noise and you know um, the worst part was not having communication. So. Basically, um, I couldn't know about my friends, my family, and that made me even more anxious at what's going on in the world. We have this uh, metrologist. She has like a live stream stuff, like she streams from time to time. She was given the last uh, stream of the night before landfall. Uh, I saw the video and she was talking and like halfway through it, she just burst out crying. <laughs> I was afraid of the future of Puerto Rico. And I, I think she was like the main representation of what everyone was feeling. You know, she was anxiety, uh, uh, you know, what's going to happen, what, you know, all that stuff. Like, this is, this is real. Me and my dad drove out to see out the streets and it kind of felt like a war zone because everything was down, the posts, like posts were down, um, water everywhere and a lot of flood. Um, no light whatsoever, it's, and things that you think were so strong, like um, like the roofs of the gasoline stations, they were out. Like it was quite a surprise. It's shocking and very truly sad. It very truly sad. Um, I met a lot of people that were like, "Hey, I just lost everything." I think the scary part is that it's not the, not the damage that it did. It's the damage that begins to like stack up after it passes by. Because a lot of people were saying like, hey, we're like, we're running out of water. We're running out of food. Like, power's not back. Heat is like kicking in. Like, you know, medicine is running short. Power is like a luxury, if you think about it. It's not a necessity, but now it ain't like that. You use that to cook, you know. Everyone was facing that. So restaurants would be full, you know, of people. And and because, you know, usually we're happy people. It's like, we're going to restaurants. It's like, ooh, that's, we're going out. We're having fun. But, you know, this is, it was just another, atmosphere, different, everyone was tense, you know. Culturally, food's really, really important, like over there. Um, it's like, it's just a time when you're with family and stuff like that. Um, it's kind of a necessity. I could not live without rice or beans or, you know. Um, I, I always also try to find food trucks, if there's anything, and I'll try Puerto Rican food. Like, I'm always looking for it, because obviously I can't live without Puerto Rican food. My name is William Garcia, uh, and I'm the owner of Willis Pinchos here in Orlando and Kissimmee. And uh, we do, we specially in Puerto Rican food, kind of like uh, skewers, barbecue skewers, uh, mofongo, fried pork, fried chicken, um, a lot of sandwiches. Not like a fancy restaurant, but the food is really good, you know, it's fancy. So they feel like, you know, they feel the. They feel the, like like they in Puerto Rico. We just missing the mountains and, and, the, and the trees. That's it. But you know that's what they're here for. You know. Yeah. It wasn't that many Puerto Rican people here, and then the community started growing and growing and growing. And now it just, I think, is the biggest one right now in Central Florida. 
all the food is around, there's so many restaurants and so many things. So it's, it grew up in the last 30 years so, so fast, so big. Every time I meet someone from Puerto Rico, I, I feel so happy, really. It's, it's good to know someone from where you are, and especially if they live the hurricane, it's like, wow, you did too, where were you from? And it's something we can share, because it's, it's something that already impacted us as Puerto Ricans. I feel like talking to me or talking to someone takes that anxiety a little bit down a notch. I can't even imagine because even people that were here, like when the day after it hit, people were like, hey, how are your parents? How, how are you, your grandparents and stuff like that? I always love meeting Puerto Ricans here and they're a lot, so that's fortunate, that's fortunate for me. But I heard from families, cousins, and there was written friends from over there, you know, in the news that was really bad, you know. Now they're getting a little bit, you know, a year after, they're getting a little bit better, but it's still some people are still the same without no light, you know, stuff like that, that's what I heard. Didn't want coming back again, you know, but they were close, it was a couple of hurricanes close, but it wasn't a monster like that one. So, you know, they, they got to rebuild. We're so proud to represent Puerto Rico out of the Puerto Rico, so that's why we do all the food and stuff like that, because, you know, they have to show the world who we are because they are, they're always gonna look at the hurricane. They don't look at the people, you know, they stay there and work out and, and trying to rebuild. Because, you know, but everybody's proud, so. Puerto Rico se levanta. Puerto Rico se levanta. Puerto Rico se levanta. <laughs>